the cow wang. Which oh means no. The, the cow mount, penis. The cow wang. The mountain palace in Thai. Oh. And because it's not rude in Thai. It's so good to be in Bangkok. It's just so nice to see all of the glitz and the glamour and the gigantic fucking malls. That is Siam Paragon. It is gigantic. And with the Elvita Skytrain because of the future and best of all, being defended by a Gundam. Here, the bathroom, you know, normal, you got the shower there, you've got like the toilet stuff there, but over here, we have a third room with a fucking writing desk, Victorian style, and I think me in the mirror. Like, you know, a, a lady's, whatever it's called, not wardrobe, shift robe or something like that, where you can sit and apply your makeup with like a little light, you know, to make yourself pretty for the men folks. That cat regrets what has happened. Oh no, the love that dare not speak its name. And this is a water scene of great importance, full of topless ladies and snakes. Usually the subject matter for a film I review, but not today. This facet of uh, Thai mythology was uh, created by Rob Zombie, seemingly. Um, so what did we just see? We just saw Manta Warriors, the legend of the eight No, moons. Mantra. Mantra Warriors. Mantis is... Would have been great. Mantra Warriors, the legend of the eight moons. One of the lizards has escaped. And an air. This bridge is called the Very By Frost. Ah. And drink now. Chrysanthemum, the flower. That, that tastes like a flavor that exists, but possibly shouldn't. There was this vaguely anime looking one, and we looked it up and we're like, wow, it's called Mantra Warriors, Legend of the Eight Moons. And apparently it's... Based on the Ramayana slash... Motherfuckers. Slash the Ramakien, which is the Thai version of it. And the, the Ramayana... But it was set in like a sci-fi future. So it's like a sci-fi reimagining of the Ramayana. Yeah, and the Ramayana is, think, the entire of Greek mythology uh, crossed with big chunks of the Bible. And over here is a plinth for the largest statue of a three-headed elephant in the world. Fantastic and giant and this is one of those times I wished I remembered the theme song to the Mysterious Cities of Gold. Until today I have never seen an orc who should be a porn star and uh, well, let's just say the goggles, they do nothing. Yeah, like if you've ever wanted to see a four-armed, double-god, ultra-sized monkey mech fucking suplex a three-headed elephant spaceship, well, this is the <laughs> film for you. Bangkok is... Let me zoom out. Bangkok is that way. Sort of near, near that way behind the curtain. A bit away. Yes, the city is right there behind that curtain. Yes, it's just off screen. If it's not in frame, it doesn't exist. Yeah.